What's cooking folks, Vermillion Phoenix here, and today I'm jumping into some more Orcs Must Die Unchained. This time we're going to be doing doublets, the weekly challenge for February 21st of 2017. We're going to go into this one with Zoe first. Zoe has the fewest problems with getting this cleared because enemies don't have resistances to three of the four damage types that she has available, so... That's better than Tundra, where everybody's resistant. I'm sorry, not Tundra. Temper, everyone is resistant to him. Uh, he has Fire Fiends, which are resistant to all of his special attacks. And then Heavy Armored Ogres, which are resistant to his normal attack. And that's a bit of a problem. And then Tundra just deals less damage than everybody else. So, yeah. Either way, here we go. Gotta pass this test. Alright, now I'm a big fan of overusing Spike Traps. <laughs> So, first thing that we're going to do is spike up areas that benefit from being spiked. Those are going to be <sighs> Love decorating the oops. castle with traps. Nice. That gate. This gate up north. Oh, traps. So I don't good. spam too many there so much uh, because chaos. ultimately you will nice. want to place a couple here as enemies that split from up top will come down across these as well and you'll also be able to catch any survivors. Now you could build this way too but you'll want them to come so down good. over here so much and this is your next sort of spillway for enemies so you'll build them over here and here this is the I only need. place for this deckhand, so go ahead and feel free to build them there. Will not reach the reef. I would actually uh, recommend that you hold on to him for maybe about two waves and then drop him wave three and then the jailer wave five. But I'm going to drop him first just so you're aware. It's the only place he can go. And uh, the other four spots, you can choose to put the jailer there. Now, I choose to save it until the last wave and use it against the Iron Ogres because they sort of overrun you and everyone else just you know, it's so much more easy. Are you just gonna stand back there and throw stuff? All right. Broken through the gate. Thanks for being uh, friendly. All right, get in the hole. Thank you, come again. Wellness from Chaos is our first weaver. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Blast this guy in face with uh, our big book of spells. Zap him a few times and he is A-OK. -okay. Now we are going to run back over here and down here. We're going to start our next few lovely spike traps. Enemies will be pathing over that area, so spiking it up is very nice. This area here will catch two groups. This one will catch one, but uh, as it comes over here, you'll get uh, about three different groups of enemies that will be standing on spikes that you place there. So this is sort of a prime real estate here. And then you gotta make sure that you take care of these knuckleheads. I'm gonna grab refreshing the spirit because there is no way to recharge your mana without without running back to the rift and we definitely don't want to do that because it causes us to lose ground now healing you still have your vegetable amending uh, it's really only able to be utilized well between rounds because of how high the volume of enemies get here you pretty much have to stay in combat as soon as you get into it now Right. So we got those. Actually, let me just get those spikes built now. Ah, love decorating the castle with traps. Perfect. Perfect. All right, and then these are the guys that we want to focus dealing our magic damage to. All right, and then as they group up, go ahead and smack them around a bit. Drop more lightning rings once it's off cooldown, and then kite them away from your guardian whenever possible. 
they shouldn't be able to kill you at all. The Guardian's a different story and he has finite HP, so he is actually the VIP, not you. Just don't die. All right, we're gonna start placing the Dragon Lances over here. They are pretty much the only thing that'll work well against the uh, the armored targets that we'll have. Though, after this wave, we're gonna to try to spam some uh, spikes and see how well that goes. Uh, I'm gonna grab Death and Chaos as the repeated rapid fire attacks will also allow us to keep our mana top off. Okay, thanks for warning me, PD. Drop the lightning ring, blast these guys a few times. And you'll see that uh, as everything's starting to come together here, that we get to deal a lot of damage and not take too much because of how everybody's grouped up. Nice and tidy. Uh, we're gonna lose One a guardian, though, which really sucks, but has to happen. That's also why we saved the second one. And now this guy's toast. Alright. So. Drop the jail. No one will escape my dungeon. Criminals. They're disgusting. I oh, traps. Oh, so screwed good. that up just a bit. So much okay. Chaos. Then drop as many spikes as you nice. can. Wanna see my nice. dungeon? In front of this yeah. guy. Now. You can just let these guys walk by, but if you do, your score will be a bit lower. So, kill them if you can. They may drop things. Uh, lightning ring over the spikes, definitely a good idea. They don't deal damage to anything though, so feel free to try to stay as safe as possible. And by damage to anything, I mean your rift. Alright, I just need to make sure that this works. As soon as we come out, drop the lightning ring, and then we are going to start going nuts. And there we go. Five stars, lovely. So I actually got a higher score there because it ended faster, uh, getting four stars with Zoe. But that'll get you all of your chests from this. Let's go ahead and get these open. Temple alarm gone. Ooh, they even let you upgrade it now. Directly from the screen, that is a nice new feature. 1.8 rearing its head already. So, nothing super great here. The Concussive Pounder and the Great Wall Barricade are probably the rarest traps. Everything else is somewhat common. Except maybe the Wall Blades, they may have been uncommon too. Steam Vents, Flip Traps, Viscous Tar. Oh my gosh, I'm so close to getting that up to level 5. We just need to grinder. All right, so this can be leveled. I just want to actually save a bit there and then the big game hunting arrow wall. I'm not sure if this is still bugged or not. Big game hunters are supposed to be able to fire at uh, hunter minions, heroes, and bosses. Right now, I think they only work against bosses and hunters. I have to try them on heroes again. Oops, steam mints again. BGH wall, arrow wall. Arrow wall again. Oh, I need so many more floor scorchers. Thank you. Good drop. All right, so I am not guaranteeing that I am going to put in the effort to five star this with uh, Temper and Tundra, but I'm definitely going to see what I can do about getting these cleared and uh, try to show it off. I'm pretty sure you can clear it with the other two characters without too much of a hassle. But five starring it with the uh, difficulties that Tundra is or that Temper is going to have is going to be very interesting. Either way, 
that has been a solo five star of the weekly oh, of the weekly challenge let me know what you guys think of it how many issues did you guys have with the challenge itself uh what do you think of it what do you think about the characters selected for the challenge were they good were they bad zoe is pretty much a jack of all trades so when she goes into any challenge she's pretty much the marker of whether or not like damage types are actually a specific help or hindrance there and so i always think that that's interesting but as always let me know what you guys think uh and also if you have any comments about the 1.8 patch because this is going to be the first video that i drop in the patch let me know what you think about it so far uh at the moment it looks like a bunch of quality of life things um i still have to go and uh, replay some of the older maps that were retweaked i think what i'm going to do is uh after i get the weekly challenge done is probably throw up some videos of ton of no temper playing the older maps because they need to be completed and i like chests so yeah that's it i'm rambling so i'm gonna go ahead and stop now thanks as always for watching guys i sincerely appreciate it and as always folks until next time have a good one <laughs>